Hillmount. Welcome to another edition of Pose and PE. Uh, as you know, this is week number two or part two of our net wall sports. And today we're going to play a net wall sport that doesn't use a net, doesn't use a wall, it actually uses a line. All right. And my other clue to you is we have the markings for this sport in our schoolyard. All right. Here's what you need for it. One medium to big size ball. Okay, we don't have enough medium to big size ball, so Ella's using a pretty small one just for our some of our activities today. But when we play the games, we'll be using uh, this bigger ball. Okay. Also, your ball should be able to bounce. Okay, that's very important. All right. So I'd rather you have a small ball that can bounce than a big ball that can't really bounce at all. Okay. The other thing uh, you need, and this is the harder one, we'll move out of the way to show you, is a course. As you can see, we've got a marked course here. Uh, it has four squares, all right, four squares. And you can see they're numbered one, two, three, and four in the middle, okay? Now our squares, hill mount, measure six feet by six feet. Right. I noticed from the video some of you still have your five feet by five feet uh, squares for four corners. That's perfect. Just use those and then put one line vertically down the middle, one line horizontally down the middle, and then you'll have four squares in your uh, course as well, if that makes sense, okay, in your court. All right, and the last thing you need, of course, is your full water bottle. All right, so pause the video here, take your time, to mark your course as big as it can fit in your space, all right? And uh, go get your bouncy ball, go get your water bottle, and we'll see you right back here for Foursquare. Four square. Welcome back. We hope you got your bouncy ball. We hope you got your Foursquare court taped up. Let's warm up our bodies first. Come follow me. Hill man, welcome back to the Pose and Basement. As you know, I'm Mr. Posen. Ella's here with us today. Jacob's here with us today. We are Posen PE, and we're happy to be with you today. Let's spread our legs wide, and we're going to reach out and touch our toes. It goes just like this. Four square uses our total body, our legs, our core, our upper body. So we're going to warm them all up. Today. All right, this time we're going to hop. So hop in, hop out. Keep it going. You got it. We're going to do the same thing, but it's forward and back and forth. Three, two, one. So it goes like this. There we go. And get the opposite arms going as well. You got it. Beautiful. All right. Let's take it back to a march. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. We're going to start some step touches in four, three, Two, there we go. Beautiful. With the lateral. Let me see those laterals, Hill Mount. Looking good. With an arm pump. Good. With a row! You should know these moves by now. Do you remember the bench press? Show it to me. There we go. Do you remember a fly? Let's see it. Great job. Last one. Do you remember a bicep curl? Here we go. All right, let's do some running here. 
Just on the spot. You got it. Gonna get those heels up high. Try to kick back as high as you can. Beautiful. What about the knees? Let's see some high knees. Great job, everybody. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. You got it. Have to have really good footwork in four square. Let's run regular. Let's run low. Let's run high. Back to regular. Woo! Keep the run going. Hope you feel your heart beating faster. Hope you're starting to sweat a little bit like I am. Get ready for some quick feet. Here they come. There we go. Great job, everybody. Grab a drink from your bottle, and we'll see you soon for the aerobics. Hey, right, Hillmount, welcome back. Come grab your bouncy ball and follow me. We're going to do some four square aerobics. Keep your march going. Use that warm up fitness. Don't lose it. Let's start with two hands on our ball. Two hands. We're just bouncing it on the ground, and we're catching it with two hands. So it's two hands, bounce on the ground, and catch it with two hands. Beautiful. It's going to be a lot of bouncing today in four square, so I hope your ball can bounce so nicely right back up to your waist. No problem. Let's try that with just your right hand. Can you do it with just your right? If the ball is too big for you to hold with one hand, you can always switch it to two hands. That's totally fine. All right, can you try it with just your left? Just your left hand. So important in four square to be able to use both hands. Just your left. Keep your march going, Hillmount. Beautiful. All right, can we try this one hand to the other hand? So one hand to the other hand. Catch it in between. Very nice. You got it. All right, let's do it up in the air now. Two hands. We're marching. We are catching. You're probably a professional at this by now. Beautiful. What about with just your right? Just your right hand. Remember, if your ball's too big, feel free to use two hands if that's easier for you. Let's see it with just your left hand. Just your left. Great job, everybody. Let's see it hand to hand in front of your chest. Keep your march going. Very nice. And what about hand to hand over your head? There we go. Okay, we're going to try something new this time. I'm holding it with one hand. I'm hitting it up with the other, and I'm catching it. Can you do it? Keep your march going, Killman. Holding it with one hand. Hitting it with the other, with the palm of my hand, and catching it. Good for you if you can do it. I know it's a little tricky. Can you do it with the other hand? That's going to be tricky for me. 
All right, one hand, hit it with the other. Catch it with both hands, or with one hand, you choose. All right, great job. I know that was a little, oh, let's try one last one. Can you keep your march going? And hit it back and forth like that. Don't worry if your ball goes away from you. Just try to get it back and try it again. Very nice. All right, let's hold our ball. Let's do some squatting. We're going down, left, middle, right, middle. Left, middle, right, middle. Let's go up, down, left. Keep it going. Ball of Jacob and Ella. Beautiful. Working our core. Nice. Can we squeeze a little more down? Last time. Yeah. You should really feel that. In your legs. In your stomach muscles. Good for you. If you do. Woo! Feel that burn. Keep it going. Hill mount for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Shake those legs out. Let's end with a bang here. Just on a keeper march going, and we're just hitting it one hand to the other hand. You know how to do this. It's like dribbling. Great job, everybody. Grab a drink, and we'll see you soon for the skills. Come out, grab your ball. Let's learn the skills involved in four square. Come follow me. Four square is a game where we strike the ball. All right, strike means to hit the ball with control. We'll try it with throwing, we'll try it with catching, and we'll also try it with striking as well. We're going to put the balls behind us for one second. But the most important thing you need to know in Foursquare, Foursquare requires you to always be ready. You know what that ready position looks like. Show me your athletic stance. Your hands up, your knees are bent, your head is up. All right, the ball could be coming that way. Show me that shuffle. The ball could be coming that way. Show me that shuffle. The ball could be coming in front of us. Show me that lean. The golf ball could be coming behind us. Show me that back step. Beautiful. Let's try that one more time. Ready position. That's why we did all those squats. We have nice strong legs and core now. To the left. To the right. Forward. Backward. One more time, a little faster. Left, right, forward, backward. You got it. Beautiful. Remember that the whole time today as we're playing four switch. All right, we're going to grab our ball. The first thing we're going to learn is the throw. All right, we'll start with throwing and then we'll get into our striking. With your throw, ball is big, so usually two hands, just throwing it down. Anytime we strike or throw today, it has to go underhand. I made a mistake. We're not throwing it down. We're actually throwing it up because it's underhand hit. All right, so let's try that up. You know what it looks like. You're just lifting your arms up. Knees are starting bent. Ball starting in front of you. And your arms are just going up in the air. And then you just catch it towards your chest. Looks like that. Remember to absorb it when you catch it. Notice the way I come down with the ball a little bit so it doesn't just bounce off my hand and I can catch it nice and easily. Good. This is our underhand throwing. Can you do it with just your right hand? Just your right hand. It's okay if you're moving your legs a little bit. But hopefully not too much. Notice the way we're completely still. All that's really moving is our legs to go up a little bit and our upper body to help to catch it. Our feet aren't moving at all. All right, can you do it? Let's try it with your left hand. Underhand throws and catches. Remember, Hillman, if your ball is too big, catch with two hands. That is totally fine. Beautiful. All right. Shake those legs out a little bit. Let's try with our striking. Remember, striking means hitting in control. We're going to start with two hands. We're going to bounce the ball. We're going to hit it up in the air and catch it. 
Good. Bounce. Get it up with two hands and catch it. Good. Try a few more of those. Come right under the ball. Hit it up. Not too high, heel down. We don't want you hitting your ceiling or your walls today. You want to hit your walls. You've got to do yesterday's game. Today does not involve walls. It just involves lines. All right. Same thing. Can we try it with just the right hand? The ball's going down. You're hitting up. Hopefully you're not hitting yourself in the face like I just did. And trying to catch it with one hand or with two hands. Bounce, hit, and catch. Keep it going. Let me see how you're doing. Looking really good, especially you. All right, let's try with the left hand. So it's bounce, hit, and catch. You got it. Good job, everybody. All right, let's try this with some people now. Jacob and Ella are going to put their balls away. Good. Ella's just going to stand over there. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to bounce. I'm going to hit it to her. She's going to hit it underhand back to me. So bounce, hit, hit underhand. Good. Remember, it's got to bounce first. Then we would rotate. So I'll go over there. Ella would come behind Jacob. We're doing it the two of us. Bouncing, 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 and bouncing. Good. And after a few turns, we'll let Ella play too. The other thing we can do is we can do it all three of us. All right, all three of us. So we're making a triangle that goes like this. Let it bounce each time. Beautiful. Nice soft hit. Just up. That shouldn't hit the wall, remember? Just hitting the ground. Nice soft hit. Hit it with your left hand or your right hand. All right, you can keep practicing that if you want, Hill Mill. But grab a drink. We're going to grab a drink and we're going to go on to our games. We'll see you soon. All right, Hill Mill, welcome back. I'm excited to play some Foursquare. I hope you are too. There's so many variations of Foursquare if you look it up online. Today I am teaching you regular Foursquare. All right, so if you're hoping for a different variation, you can play it later, but we are doing regular Foursquare right now, okay? Ella and Jacob are showing you something called cooperative Foursquare, a little bit different than regular Foursquare. They're trying to see how many in a row they can do. Jacob has squares two and three. Ella has squares one and four. They're trying to hit it underhand in those squares, one person to the other person. All right, and try to see how many in a row they can do. Okay, regular four square is not cooperative at all, but this is a nice thing you can do as well. All right, today we're going to show you how to play one person, two person, three person, and four more people four square, okay, depending on what you have in your hand. Thank you, Jacob and Ella. We're going to start with one person four square. Jacob's going to demonstrate this one for us. Jacob's standing in square number one. So remember, we marked our square. One person's a little tricky. He's trying to hit it underhand to number two. Then he's going to go get it off one bounce. Can't be zero, can't be two. Has to be one bounce in four square. And he's going to hit it to number three. Going to get the same thing to number four. We're going to see if he can make it all the way around or maybe around even more. Okay? It's a little bit tricky. Watching Jacob, then you can try. He hits it in one, to two, to three, to four. Notice these nice soft hits. In control, that's striking the ball, hitting with control. Now, him and if you get dizzy, just stop and reverse directions. That's totally fine. If you're one person, start playing your one person four square. Thank you, Jacob. Great job. Got around a few times. All right. Ella and Jacob are going to show you two person four square. All right. So, Ella will start. She's in number four and three. Four and three. Come on, you always want to try to get to four in this game. Okay, that's, that's the best position to be at. The person who's at four gets to serve first. We know how to serve. It's bouncing the ball first and hitting it under him. And Ella's trying to cover squares four and three. Jacob's trying to cover squares one and two. Jacob hit it into one of Ella's squares. Ella couldn't get it. So now Jacob has squares four and three. Ella has one and two. And they are continuing 
just like that. If you have two people, this is what you're playing today. If you win in four, like Jacob just said, he stays in four. Remember, person number four always serves first. All right? On this serve, if the person can't return it, they can ask for a redo. All right? It's got to be a nice serve right to them, so you're giving them a chance to play. Ellie, you're allowed to move your feet. Remember that ready position, Hill Mount. Always knees bent, super low, super ready to play. All right, if you have three people, three people, Jacob's going to be here. He's covering three and four because he's the big champion. All right, Ella's in two. I'm a new joiner, so I'm going into one. I'm responsible to cover my square. Ella's responsible to cover her square. The new champ, the big champion has it hard. He's got to cover two squares. A little bit tricky. Obviously, if you have four people here now, one person in each square, that's great. If you have five or more, you can have a line going. A new person comes in number one. Person number four always serves to number one first. Number one can hit it to any square, two, three, or four. You're always trying to move up. It looks like this. I'm covering one. Ella's covering two. Jacob's covering three and four. Okay, so Ella did a miss hit. Ella goes back to one now. And I was in one. I moved to two. Jacob stays in three and four. Oh, Ella hit it out of bounds. Got to be a research. Hill mount. The lines inside. The lines inside are out. All right. The lines outside are in. That was out of bounds. So I move up to three, four. Jacob's in one. Ella's moves up to two. All right. Lines inside. If it lands in on one of the inside lines, we don't know. I don't know if that was mine or Ella's. So that's out. But if it lands on an outside line, I know that was my line. That is in. We'll try one more time. Four serves to one. One can hit it to anybody. Guard your squares. And here we go. Oh, Overhand hit by the under. All right, hope you enjoyed the game, Hillmount. You know how to play four square now, and you can play anytime you'd like. And the great thing is, when the quarantine's over, we have markings at our blacktop, so you can play there as well. Grab a drink, and we'll see you for the cool down. Back, Hillmount. We hope you enjoyed playing four square today. We certainly did. We're going to do the same thing we did in four corners. We've actually picked up our ball. We made it a big ball of tape, and we'll all lead some stretches today. Feel free to do that in your home or just lead our, or just follow our stretches. Either way is totally fine with us. Starting with an inhale and exhale. Breathe in and out. Remember, we're stretching head to toe. Person with the tape ball gets to lead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. We're on to arms. I'm just tossing the tape ball lightly. Ella's choosing an arm stretch to lead. One. Two. two three. Four. four five. Six. Seven. Eight. eight nine. Ten. Remember, you do it one way, you do it the other as well. One. Two. two three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. ten. I forgot to let Ella go in the middle. We'll let Jacob go in the middle for a core stretch. Something for our core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's take it to the ground. Ella, why don't you lead a leg stretch for us? Maybe one on the ground. We haven't been on the ground in a while. You go in the middle. Um, put your feet in butterfly and go down. Rest with those elbows. Can you light up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and Jacob, why don't you do an ankle stretch for us? I uh, prefer this is the cameras. Okay. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight 
Nine. Ten. You're probably reverse direction at five. One, two, three, four, five, reverse, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Beautiful. Let's stand back up again. Let's end with an inhale and exhale. Get low, breathe in, and take a bow as you breathe. Great job today, Hillmail. Hope you had fun playing Foursquare. Grab a drink and we'll see you for the health tip of the day. Welcome back, Hillmail. Today is Tasty Tuesday, as you know. And today's Tasty Tuesday is all about something we like to do uh, when we're done filming Pose and PE and we go eat lunch, all right? And with our lunch, we like to cut up a whole bunch of vegetables and eat them. Jacob and Ella, why don't you show your bowls all right, these are bowls of veggie slices. So what do you guys have in there? Uh, we got peppers, um, yellow, green, and red, tomatoes, cucumbers, celery, and carrots. Beautiful. And you could put any vegetables you wanted into your veggie slice uh, bowl. All right, we think it's a little more fun than having a salad. We usually have a salad with our supper, but with our lunch, we like to have veggie slices. It's fun, it's quick, it's easy, and it's great for our bodies as well. All right, I will attach a link in your Google Classrooms and in Brightspace, you can eat if you'd like, uh, for uh, Canada's Food Guide. All right, and as you know, Hillman, in Canada's Food Guide, it says half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. All right, you could put fruits in your uh, bowl as well. We like veggie slices uh, with our lunch. We like fruits uh, with our breakfast a lot too. All right, so I'm curious. All right, my challenge to you is uh, make yourself a veggie bowl for your lunch. Probably don't even need to involve your parents too much. Maybe a little bit for the things that need some slicing, but something like cherry tomatoes is really easy uh, just to get yourself to wash and to put in a bowl yourself and to enjoy. All right, so send me your photos of what your uh, veggie bowls look like. You could even enjoy them with a little bit of dip as well for a little bit of flavor. All right, are they tasty? Yeah. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm going to have a, food, a veggie bowl after this as well. And they're super crunchy. You can hear them crunchy. Yeah. Uh, Hillmet, we really hope you enjoyed playing Foursquare today. We certainly enjoyed playing with you. Uh, as always, please post your photos, your videos, your comments. We look forward to seeing them. And uh, tomorrow, we are going to be playing another net wall sport. My only clue for you for this net wall sport is it doesn't involve a net, it doesn't involve a wall, it doesn't involve a line, it doesn't even involve a pole, it involves a trampoline. We'll see if you can figure out what net wall sport we are playing tomorrow. All right, until then, Hillmount, stay safe, be active, and keep smiling. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.